What's going on YouTube? Subum Saint bringing you what I promised, the smock. TFV4. I call it smock. Everybody keeps telling me it's smoke. Smoke, smock, smoke, smock, smockity smoke. Who cares, man? It just looks like smock to me. There is no E at the end, so it does not look like smoke, in my opinion. Now, could be smoke, but it looks like smock. Anyways, I said I was going to bring this video, and... This time, I feel like I feel right doing a review on this product because I've had it for quite some time. Now, this tank is a big tank. So, anybody that's not a fan of big tanks, you know, you might as well just get away from this one. Because this one is 24.5 millimeters in diameter compared to the normal 22 millimeters. It doesn't sit flush on all your devices. I mean, it does sit flush, but it doesn't... <laughs> It's got a little bit of overhang, like right now, I got it on the Vapor Shark DNA 200. It's got a little slight overhang. You can definitely tell it's a little bigger, and I don't know why I put it on this. I guess I'm still testing the Vapor Shark, so yeah. Anyways, I wanted to go over my pros and my cons. I'm not going to go over what all comes in the box, because I did do an unboxing. I am still in the learning process, so hopefully I can just do the unboxing and do my review. But, as of right now, I didn't do that, so if you want, the unboxing is in my recent videos. If you want, I can put a link in the description. Whatever. Anyways, now, my pros and my cons with this tank. Obviously, one con is that it is 24.5 millimeters wide. So, it, it is kind of, it looks funny on certain mods that are 22 millimeters. And... Of course, that's subjective. I mean, not everybody's going to like that. It doesn't alter my opinion about the device at all. It is a juice guzzler. It chucks the juice, man. It just... It's gone. It's like, you, you fill it up, you take like 10, 15 hits, it's done. you got to fill it up again. But that is expected. You're having three to four coils in it, so, you know... You can't have the best of both worlds, you know what I mean? Now, I heard a lot of people complaining about like the O-rings on the base. I haven't had problems with mine sticking to my glass, but I have had problems with it like tearing down in there. If, eh, I don't know if I'm, if I'm explaining that right, but it, it kind of tears and I, it's not really sticking. Also another con, but this is completely subjective, is it is kind of hard to hit, fill with this... Uh, that little gasket hole right here it is kind of hard whenever you're using like a big bottle like right here I got a little bit of milk man one hit wonder you guys you guys are great anyways but like I said it is subjective because you can pop that little white gasket off I don't have a tool right here but you can just pop it right out and it gives you that bigger hole so you can hit it better and you don't have no problems but I mean it does suck at times when you have to do that with bigger bottles but it is average quality I have had average quality the um there's I would say it's average yeah I'd say it's average I mean I haven't had no, really no problems with it it doesn't leak out of the base now that's that's a pro man I have not had one that hasn't leaked out of the base and this one has not also my pros are great flavor production great cloud production matter of fact let me just I'll take a little vape here. Mm. Also, I've had my coils last me about three to three and a half weeks. I have noticed that the triple coil. Uh, yeah, triple coils. Sorry, you guys gotta lean with me. I just got off work. I'm a little tired. So, anyways. The triple coils, to me, feel like they last a little bit longer. I guess it's because they're in their own little individual little spots. Uh, another pro is that an RBA base is included. It would be nice if the dual RBA base was included with it, but you have to buy that separately. What would be really awesome, though, with 
the whole RBA base is if they did a whole two post design kind of like the Velocity where you could choose whether you wanted to do a single coil or a vertical coil or a dual coil or quad coil whatever you wanted to do in a tank now that would change the vape game but it is a 5 mil juice capacity like I said it don't have no juice haven't had no leak problems out of the base <sighs> price point is like 45 50 bucks so it's it's pretty competitive with all the other tanks and you get far more with it it is definitely my favorite tank along with the UL crown I have I love those tanks these are by far my favorite tanks out in the market to, to date because the crown is just so convenient and it's just so it, it, the flavor in it is amazing but I'm, I'm not doing a review on that so get back on this this tank Right now, it's, it's, I wouldn't say it's above the UL crown, I mean it's right neck and neck, but it is a great tank. Now, if you're like me and you're kind of picky about like things fitting or looking right, I'm, I'm, I'm terrible about that. I just, I'm, I'm matchy matchy, I gotta have everything fit right and look right and yeah, it's just, it's crazy. But anyways, now I did have a friend tell me he wanted to see me to show him the single coil RBA deck and a dual coil RBA deck. Now lean with me here because this one is I I guess I re it. I don't I don't know. But anyways you can go ahead and get you guys in the focus. Focus 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 Get away shoe shoe fly don't bother me. Anyways here you go. Alright there's your RBA single coil RBA deck. You can trap it underneath these screws or you can trap it inside the holes and trap it up underneath the screws. It does have four massive airflow holes that go straight through the top right through where your coil is. Now the best wicking methods that I've had is kind of putting you see how that one is kind of sitting like right in the middle. Yeah about yeah sitting in the middle a little bit. So far, that is the best wicking method I have seen. I have done on it. I've still been messing around with it, trying to get it just right. Also, the dual coil they they come pre-installed with coils. Mine, I've been messing with the dual coil so much that I didn't have the pre-installed ones anymore. But I will go ahead and show you guys that one. You stick your canthal or Nichrome, whatever you want to put in there, and you kind of trap it up under there, underneath the screws. Two pretty decent sized airflow holes. Four airflow holes on the bottom of it. Same wicking method I've seen is the best for it. It's putting it like halfway in that little nub. I wouldn't put too much. I mean, make sure whenever you're putting your cotton in your coils, man, this jankety thing when you're putting your cotton in your coils you can't have it too tight and you can't have it too loose you gotta have it just right in order for it to wick properly if it doesn't is if it you don't have enough cotton you're gonna get a dry hit if you have too much you're gonna get a dry hit you guys gotta make sure you still got that wiggle room but you don't want it to be like throwing a hot dog down a hallway kind of thing man that was weird anyways now I do apologize for my videos here lately I've kind of been rushing it out I am going on vacation next week so yeah I'm going to the beach so I've actually it's been pretty hectic you know I've been trying to get my bags together I've been getting my clothes together I've been making sure I've gotten everything plus I'm still work I'm, I'm still at work right now so it's like you know I'm trying to work get sleep do everything I need to do for the trip so I had to get this video out to you guys because I did promise you that I was going to do this review on this. And I hope Smock watches this video because I just want to say that their tanks have been my favorite. The TCT, the VCT, they, they were my number one tanks back when they came out. They were above all the other tanks. Smock, they just keep on coming out with great tanks. I'm hoping I can get the uh, Smock 160 temperature control. I'm hoping I can get that so I can get a review out for that for you guys. 
I, unfortunately, I don't have one right now. I've kind of been waiting on a black one because I know they have a black one getting ready to come out. So, I know you guys smock. I'm watching. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Thought I was dumb. I was going to buy just a silver one and you was going to come out with a black one, huh? Yeah, well, I'm, I'm getting a black one. Anyways. Sorry, smock. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Feel free to leave any comments, any likes. Also, if you want, check back on my last video. I am doing a giveaway on the Thump RDA. All you gotta do is leave a like or a subscribe and comment Thump Life on that video and I will be sending that thump out to you guys on the 14th. I will announce the winner. The only reason I'm doing it on the 14th is because I don't come back until the 11th and I figured, you know, Maybe not. Maybe I can do it a little more. I don't know. Sometime after I come back, I'm going to announce the winner. That way, I can get that thump sent out to you guys. But anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys decide to purchase this tank. It is a great tank. I love it. I have no complaints with it. Well, other than the cons that I told you about. But they're, they're not really bad cons, you know? I mean... It's not like, oh, hey, man, I'm getting that stuff in my mouth from the coils. and It's nothing like that. So, I would definitely highly recommend this tank. So, without further ado. Oh, also, let me let me turn it up to 100 watts and show you guys what it work, uh, how it does. Before we close out this video. Unless you guys have already closed out. But, anyways, here's 100 watts. Yeah, a little bit of dry hit on the back end, but that's just, that was my juice fault. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. You guys keep vaping out there and vape safe. Don't be doing nothing crazy, okay?